one of the things that we found interesting in our organisation is when you start having the conversation internally through the lens of your customer. Yes. And, and I think that, because um, people can look at themselves and say, well, I'm not gay or I'm, you know, not um, part of a marginalised group. So what's this for? But when you look at through our customer, hang on a second, you know, and, and this is how many of our customers are non-hetero. This is how many of our customers from, are from this different background. And, and then I think people say, yeah, well, hang on. If, and if we're going to um, walk the walk or talk the talk, we've got to walk the walk in terms of what we do internally. That's exactly right. And in fact, that was a conversation that, that was um, put forward on Yammer. A customer, one of our customer facing staff was talking uh, to a customer about family and needing to get the, some details. And when they referred to the, the customer's partner, there was no assumption made about gender. And that customer, as it turned out, was in a, in a gay relationship and um, later called back and said, thank you so much. That meant so much to me that nobody made an assumption that immediately partner meant of the opposite gen gender. And therefore, from let's say, from a customer's perspective, feeling included and valued. And they think it's huge, yeah. huge, just that concept of language there. Yeah.